Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create tabs and add leader dots to those tabs. So on the ruler, you can see these little tab markers. So if I press the tab key, the, the cursor jumps across to each of those tab markers. Now these tab markers can be added to by just clicking onto the ruler itself and you then are adding what this is a left tab so if i go back to the beginning and press tab this now overrides these preset tab markers and uh, that's the first tab and then it jumps to the second one and then the third one and if i do another one the fourth one and then you can pull these tabs off by just drag them off the ruler or you can go into the format menu and paragraphs and clear all which is probably quicker if you've got more than one on so just backspace to come back off there. Now that left tab was activated because it says a left tab there. If I click that again, now that'll be a right tab. So if I click on this area, press tab, that comes in from wherever that tab is. If I press enter on that and just pull that tab off on the next line down and click on the next one, which is a center tab, and I'll put that over here as well, tab to that. What happens there is it comes either side of the tab so the tab is a center line for this text as i'm typing it if i press enter and pull that down again and then this next one is a decimal tab i'll just put this one here tab to it 21 full stop 34 enter tab 1.23 so this one lines up on the decimal point of these figures and I'll pull that one off and then it goes back to the the default one which I'll put back on there press tab and that comes in to the document from the left press enter so these are all tabs types if you like I'll just get rid of all of that to put leader dots on tabs you need to go into the menus to do that so format menu and paragraph is where they live and along all these tabs across the top you have one called tabs with a tab there i'm just going to delete that tab so i want to do a little table so i want a tab to be at five centimeters new and nine centimeters new and they're defaulting left i want them both to be left you've got the other options there and this is where the leader dots are different styles I'll come back and do that in a second I'll just click OK to that now you see those two tab markers on the screen on the ruler so I could have done that manually but uh, what happens now is if I just do my little table name tab extension tab department and then I'm just going to press enter twice now what I want to do is put the leader dots on for these tab markers so I didn't want the leader dots on on the first bit but I do now so I'm going back into format paragraph and then I need to activate from this space where I am now these leader dots I think I'll have that one and next one that one so you just basically put in the leader dots on for these two tab sets I click OK to that now if I type my name press tab I get the leader dots press tab type what I want to type press enter do two spaces then do Dave press tab section to extension two and retail retail and then what you need to do is clear tabs off after that so I want to clear everything I'm just going back into format paragraph and then delete all from this point onwards click OK and then press normal tab and it's just doing a normal tab so you haven't got um, these tabs coming down any further and I put this on show hide you can see where the tab markers are these little if I keep pressing tab these little arrows I'll just take it off so that's back to the default tab however if I click back up there and press enter and then do John I'm picking it up again so you've got to be careful that you when you take things off that you take them off and then don't click back into the table 
and bring them down again so obviously if you wanted an extra item that's what you could do but I'll just get rid of them from there onwards but you don't really want these tab markers um, the, the five and the nine to come all the way through a large document because every time you press a normal tab you would get it jumping to five or nine so that's basically all I want to talk about in this little session how to put leader dots on tabs and how tabs work in general so hopefully you found that useful thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one